technology, general interest, there's definitely kids with families, but there's also the center. Not too many single females, or single males. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I didn't understand. I suggested that the males are the inventors. Well, that, and the thing that that's, that's what this whole idea is about, too, is let's get everybody involved. You know, you got friends at work that are, are female, and yeah, they may not be into it, you know, they're in crafts. Ah, this is almost crafts. It's just the next step. And so you're saying I can't meet a single woman here? <laughs> it's a little harder. It's just like, <laughs> It, there was actually one of the things, and actually that's that one photo back here, that um, it's uh, uh, it Jen's Fig working with the, with the three girls. Yeah, yeah, that's right here. I mean, it's, it's an interesting photo, and I've actually seen this in a number of um, in a number of events that we've done. That uh, um, the participation of like girls in engineering kind of projects is sort of um, you see more of that than you usually do, and I think it's because of the of the kind of crafting. Um, world and, and kind of that meeting together. I mean, these, these girls are learning about piezoelectric technology, but they're working with an artist, they're learning how to solder. There's a lot of stuff going on there. And um, I think that that's, um, that's really important. You know, we didn't do like a demographics on like, you know, well, there's 20% more girls than usually at an engineering event. And there's nothing like that. But um, in generally speaking, I think that you did see a wide range of ages. Um, it seemed to be family friendly, but not exclusively families. I mean, probably the, the people that were here, um, you know, without kids, probably were in their in their 30s. I'm kind of going by the the community data as well. We we see like um, we see families and we see people in their 30s, and then we actually see a, a, a drop in people in their 40s, and then we see a, an increase in in, in, in the 50s. Um, my theory is because people with little kids tend to just not get out as often, because that's me. Um, but uh, yeah, I think um, demographically, it's, it's an interesting mix. Yeah. Uh, one of the best things about last year was uh, the groups that I met up with. Um, so I mean, it was great seeing you know uh, people's projects, but um, you know I, I met uh, Launch House and Makers Alliance and the, the game developers, and have been involved with all three of those groups ever since. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if you know um, a group of people who are doing things who are open to, um, you know, having people come in and, and join them and do, do stuff with them, um, that is a really good takeaway that for me it lasted all year. Mm -hmm. um, whereas, you know, learning about some of some of people's projects, I mean, I met those people and I've I've been like in touch with some of them, but um, really just so yeah, if you know like groups of people who are doing cool things that maybe not have you know anything that's even finished, you know, just tell them and encourage them to sign up and, and come by and just share <coughs> with the community like what their group is and some of the things that they're doing and you know it's yeah the best takeaway for me. yeah i think that's a that's a really good point because there there are um there's been a number of people that that i've i've talked to that are they're makers they just don't know it mm -hmm. um and you know the, the like a lot of times they're they're a little bit reluctant to i mean me being I have a theater background, so it's just natural, like, hey, you do something, you want to show it off to the world. And then realizing that that's not, everyone doesn't operate that way. Um, and kind of, you know, encouraging people to say, okay, well, come out. Like, you know, if you've got something in your garage that you've been working on, um, there's a, a guy that I met that, that uh, is building these, like, turbocharged VW bugs. And, um, like, you know, he builds his own, like, CNC equipment. And, and, like, a lot of that stuff is, like, hard to transport down here, but I'm sort of encouraging him, like, you know, Show off some of your slides. Just kind of come yeah. down here, hang out a little bit. Yeah, you because know, like you said, just I mean, were you? Did you exhibit last year? Or did you? I, I don't remember. No, you, you, you were just here. Yeah, yeah. That's great. I just had, I just pretty much joined all those all three groups in, right. and have done stuff with all of them pretty much. So I, I got a question for you. So yeah. so uh, since the time, uh, let's say you know you met the three groups, what have you made? 
you uh, know, like games. how has how has your life changed? You know, just kind of talk uh, about that a little bit. Uh, games, uh, okay. making um, uh, miniaturized computer equipment for doing uh, remote photography. Cool. Um, uh, beer. Yeah. Beer. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's awesome. So yeah, you know, um, it kind of leads up. It opens up a dialogue for okay. Well, maybe you were an attendee last year. Now you'll be a you know presenter. Yeah, and also um, I'm exhibiting my artwork at uh, Launch House. There you go. So, yep. you know, I, got, I met some people from Launch House oh, right. yep. going over there, hanging out, cool. and realized that they have a lot of space and, yeah. you know, they have a lot of wall space. Yeah. I spoke to somebody here um, last mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. you know, I said, you know, I'm a maker and I, I also, I'm, an, I'm an artist and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I have, I have this fine art. And she said, Great, you know, come by and just like put it up on the wall. Yeah. So that's that's another thing. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Yeah, it's it's a really good point in terms of just like the, you know, what the what the community is, is all about and sort of what the possibilities are here. And I think one of the best things about last year's Maker mm -hmm. Fair uh -huh. was you'd have uh, a family come up and, and go to the learn to solder badges yeah. and have the kids go and everything. And we would normally like. Oh, I, oh, at first it was a bit reluctant, but we get the, the parents to come and do one themselves. And after they're done, it almost seemed like the parents were having more fun doing it than the kids did. And the kids were like, all right, come on, let's go. And I was like, no, we gotta stay, we gotta make some more stuff. And, I mean, that was probably one of the best takeaways, is that just... It's kind of like using, Harry Potter all over again, right? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> how you can convert yeah. someone that initially was reluctant and bring out cool. the little the maker within, I guess. Right. Nice. Cool. Well, I had some feedback. Um, yeah, I'll just step over here. So, um, uh, people who, who know me, uh, my name is G, by the way. Um, I'm a uh, you know gorilla videographer. So, I was here and I noticed that you know we had uh, the auditorium, which had like audio video equipment, um, you know, which wasn't used to actually video videotape, you know, all the speakers who actually committed their time and spoke on their topics you know, choice. Well, uh, you mentioned BB. So BB actually brought the King Midget Motors, you know, actual vehicle. And I don't know how you guys did it, but thank you so much. <laughs> I want to just thank you, you know, the for it. The, the yellow car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the yellow, the, his yellow car. Um, so, so, you know, that's the only video that I was able to tape, and I apologize, but I was actually exhibiting myself. I was representing modular robotics and Synhack, the actor hacker space. So I just could not, you know, commit. I mean, I'm. You, you're seeing me do practice my my craft right now. I'm actually videotaping this speech because I believe that those people who weren't able to make it do have a voice and they can actually still participate electronically with James That's offline. True. Okay. So so I came, I kind of go to all the events in Cleveland in Northeast Ohio, whether they're technical or non-technical, and make the case for uh, videography, even if it's basic, even if you have a cell phone cam camera, you know, and you're taping the the content. Because somebody on, out there, you know, on YouTube will be inspired, will be actually be able to make stuff. So uh, this year, I hope that if we're actually at the library, uh, if we can request the Cleveland Public Library to, or, you know, kind of donate the uh, AV equipment and the resources to pull this off, that's great. And if, if they cannot do that, you know, still, amongst us, we have, you know, what, what does, what does with the Native Fair Cleveland have? Attendees. What do the attendees own? DSLRs. I, I own one, you know, other people own one as well. So if everybody pull their resources together, we can actually take content as well. Yeah. One of the biggest challenges for an event like this is to, you know, profile makers, you know, and nobody's gotten it right so far. I believe, and I'm kind of like making a public <coughs> statement, is that that sort of problem is solvable by distributed, you know, participation by the attendees <coughs> themselves. Some attendees can actually still participate in the organization of the event, uh, you know, even if they just kind of profile <coughs> the makers, okay? Yeah, it's a really good point. I mean, I think that the, um, I mean, a lot of these photographs are from uh, Frank Lanza, who's, who's a fantastic, we've been working with Frank for, for a long time, and um, he, um, he's just really terrific at capturing an event, but she said, I think we're only capturing a small slice of it. Right. Um, we are working with a, there's a video team um, that's going to be uh, kind of making the rounds here. Uh, Studio on Mars, um, we worked with them at the Engineering last yep. year. Yeah, and they're, um, uh, we're actually working with them on, on, on kind of creating a larger uh, maker movie um, that is, is going to be about um, some of the projects that I got from you guys. 
<laughs> some of the projects that Ingenuity is doing that sort of have a longer term life beyond them. Um, we, we, want to, we want to do interviews and, and document that, uh, that, that process. So they're going to be doing that, but in the, in, in, uh, for, for Maker Faire, they're going to be kind of you know, making the rounds and kind of filming things that way. But I think the other thing is, is um, you know, if, if, if individually, you know, documenting your projects, I, I've kind of put a call out, and I'll, I'll sort of put the call out to this group too, is to do like some blogging on the Maker Faire Cleveland website. Um, that's, that's basically sort of monitored and I push things up to the Make Zine uh, website right. nationally and they'll, they'll pick things up. But anything we can do to kind of preview what's going on, it's going to help promote the event. But then also like, you know, let's not just think about marketing, let's think about like documentation. So if, if in your space, you know, you want to run uh, you know, a, a, a video and maybe just do a little bit of a video uh, blog about, uh, about your experience here, um, let's get that up online and let, let's share that. And, um, I guess it sort of decentralizes right. it a little bit. Right. Yeah, I'm actually going to be exhibiting on how to remotely control a DSLR. Okay, cool. um, so, um, you know, part of the idea of that is actually using it to document uh, the fair itself. Fair, that's right. Cool. Yeah, yeah that's great. Right. Yeah. Yeah. G, G, the letter G. Yep. G. Yep. G. Video, video gorilla videography. Yeah, basically that's the biggest, uh, you know, I'll step right here. Basically that, that's the biggest thing that, you know, it's a fear and I get it. Like mm -hmm. people fear like, you know, taking videos because they're so embarrassed by like how crappy they look. Mm -hmm. You know, that is hardly ever a criteria for me because, you know, I have seen lots and, you know, with, you know, show of hands of how many crappy videos have you seen that were useful on YouTube, <laughs> you know? You guys know, I mean, you know the answer. That only to kind of, you know, preach to the choir. So, uh, you know, a production, you know, uh, like, like Maker Faire Cleveland, you know, it takes time. You know, you, you, okay, well, how do you cover the profile of every maker? And it's noisy. How do you do the sound engineering? You know, go, go, you know, people who go to bars for nice music, you know, they have a dedicated resource for audiography, you know, audio stuff. Well, that, you know, it's an investment for the, for the producers, you know. What I advocate is the exact opposite, you know, quality, is is not that important to me. The 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 fact that it is being done is more important. Okay. Yeah. So that's basically. Yeah, I think the same. There's thing a differentiation. Goes with, uh, yeah. Um, one is like, free. One is. Like, one, <laughs> one is paid. Along, like, I'm not much of a writer. And yeah. I, don't, you know, I mean, first of all, like, we'll, we we can help in terms of like the. I mean, if you don't know how to how to blog, or get something up on the website. We can help you do that. We can yeah. we can um, you know add the photographs and, and do all that. Um, but. You know, in terms of like writing, I think that you know, I think that uh, the, the the level of writing that's out there, you know, it's not it's not Shakespeare, Paul, you know, it's, not <laughs> yes. it's not it's not it's not fun. I will observe. You may have touched on it at the beginning. I wasn't able to make a parallel last year. I'm curious as to where it is, what type of environment it is. Is it all in the auditorium? <coughs> Um, basically, we take over the whole library. Um, there's not a lot of, on March 29th, there's not a lot of outdoor kind of options, although last year we had uh, um, somebody um, driving on fire, or dancing on fire, I think it was April. April the board? Oh yeah, the Mentos and yes. collisions, yeah. yes. So uh, there were some things that like are yeah. like, hey, we want to take that outside. You know? <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of work with you. To it's for the best. <laughs> There's also um, there's somebody this year that's yes. going to be doing um, these uh, Vortex smoke rings, um, and uh, who did Ingenuity last year, and that was that was something that as soon as I heard smoke, I was like, okay, let's have a conversation uh, with, with the library and Myron, and like, you know, let's just figure that out. And it, it was over the course of two weeks, we you know we got to the point where it's like, we can do smoke rings in, in here in this space. Um, so there are things that uh, obviously if you've got something in mind that. Uh, uh, we should talk about you know how, how, how it's going to happen. But basically, um, 
you know, don't hold me to this, but I mean, we, we start here at Tech Central and kind of move out, um, and then we've got the floors at our disposal like on the different levels going up here in the library, and then if you go through this this uh, this hallway right behind me, it goes into the older part of the library, and that's where you've got the kind of uh, more vaulted ceilings and, and sort of larger larger scale rooms. So um, the biggest trick with that is, is getting people there and sort of figuring out navigation. Just to get people there. Does that answer your question? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, I, I personally, uh, my setup, I have a large board, and uh, it's got a point about my bed. Um, I know we talked about it in the emails, um, but I wanted to definitely talk about it more while I was here. Okay. Um, okay. Um, uh, we gonna need some type of like uh, outdoor space or indoor with ventilation. Okay. That's really this cool. is the glass, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Uh, um, I think just one thing we want to keep in mind this year, um, I know it was done to an extent last year, but uh, I think we need better uh, information for the guests to let them know that there is other stuff going on on multiple floors of the library. Right. So I know um, we had a, like, the main area was obviously down here, right. and I would be talking to someone and go, hey, if you want to come up to the third floor, you can learn how to solder and stuff. I'm like, oh, we don't even know that there's stuff going on. Yeah. So um, we want to make sure that make sure that stays as visible and let people know that yeah, there's stuff going on on almost every floor of the building, right. rather than just down here. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What were some of the criteria that the other people that were rejected, those other panel submissions? Um, you, you mean like submissions that were rejected? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just to gauge what the... Um, I mean, it, it's really sort of a case, you know, I mean, um, overt sexual content. Um, you know, if you've got something like that, I would say like, okay, let's talk about that for ingenuity, because we can... Yeah. We can do that for that. Yes. <laughs> um, but it's a bit, it's a, But I mean, you know, yeah. the library is, is a gracious yeah. host and a great partner, and, yeah. and that's that's they've got some pretty hard lines there with uh, with, with that. Um, uh, I mean, there was a few conversations I had with people about like they just didn't seem they, they, they wanted to just sell something, and they weren't really interested in in, in anything else. And, and I sort of had a pretty you know a pretty bad you know good back and forth with them where I was like, well, you know, if you can kind of talk a little bit about how you make this stuff, you know, I think mean, well, we're good. Yeah. Um, but they're like, no, I don't, I just want to, you know, they, they kind of thought it was a craft fair. And right. that, that, that was, um, that was more sort of a deal breaker for them. Um, other than that, I mean, you know, um, it really wasn't anything that was, um, I mean, I'm trying to think of like something that we wouldn't, that we wouldn't include. I mean, um, you know, I suppose if something was like, well, that's just not really, you know, that's just a you know a, a product that you're just kind of demoing. Um, but we, we try to you know we, we really are pretty uh, inclusive of the whole thing. Um, that was uh, I think that that's what's that's what's nice about this is that you don't have like a there's not like an artistic kind of uh, curation of the whole thing. It's really more of like a let's see what the community comes back to us with and see how we can include all those voices. Does that answer your question? Oh yeah. Um, now I know we're, we're not big into the vendor's ideas, but to tell you the truth, the you know the bigger maker fair in Detroit, I've gone to a couple of times, and the vendors are to me are part of the experience. Yeah. Um, you buy you know Make Magazine has their their Make shop there, right? And you <coughs> buy equipment, which I've done, or buy books, which I've done. Um, I was just wondering, okay, and March is kind of bad, but maybe in future years we move it a little later and so they could have maybe outdoor vendors. Mm -hmm. I mean, just so that we can incorporate just a little bit of that. Yeah. No, I think I think you're absolutely right, and it's something that <clears throat> I think that you, you kind of see at Ingenuity as well, where you've, I mean, we always put the make space next to sort of the vendor space, and there's a kind of, I think from the audience perspective, they're not necessarily, there's not, a, there's not a hard line between the two of them here. Um, the working with the library, um, there, there is there is more of a um, you know there's a very non-commercial kind of 
am I right? No. Yeah, <laughs> that's why yeah. it's mostly a sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah. so we, yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we, we could do that, yeah. And then it's also sort of attracting like those, you that's know, cool. like the, like the Maker Shed and like, you know, Radio Shack and all of that. It's like, you know, hey, you saw this stuff here, now buy it and go home and do it yourself. Yeah, cause, I mean, well, that was Smith part of the fun about it. again. Yeah. You know, I can go into the Maker Shed and buy a soldering iron right. and go home and do some right. more stuff. Right. right. Versus, uh, I'm going to bring home a, a, my little badge and then I'm going to forget about it. Right. 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 No, I think you're right. Cool. Excuse me, can I piggyback on the gentleman saying about the outside? Um, when I went to Shake a Lunch House back in May, April, that was at the Baptist Seminary. So, like I said, that's why Dar didn't even admit to me, but I wasn't even ready. I created. I, I took, I wanted me, my sister, and her daughter. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do some education. Mm -hmm. So we said, Dark took us to focus on the beanbag toss board to make an education game out of it. I could play, I'm 52, I could play an horseshoe mm -hmm. 20 years ago. I don't know really nothing about a game, but I play chess. Mm -hmm. But he said, Google it. He said, you know, come back to me and say, get a deck of cards, let's see, you know, let's put something together. You know, that's how Dark is. Two weeks later, me and my sister and my little, my little niece, we came up with something. We put together a study guide. When we went to do like the state of Ohio, and, um, we got a tuck box, we got a car, we got 54 cars based upon the study guide. What I was saying, back, piggyback on him, March 29th is not going to be an outside party. Yeah, but they still play beanbag oh, yeah. board games inside. Sure, right. So I don't even know. Are you the beanbag guy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sorry, I was just going through that. I was going through the applications. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> it's a study guy, and it's a template to do all the other forty. Right. Right. Forty United States, and it's <clears> educational. <throat> and in Cleveland, not the Cleveland more of it. Cleveland and across uh, metropolitan, right. metropolitan school system. I got a point with them to preview it. But it's educational, and it would be nice to be outside, but it can be done inside. Yeah, I think right. the, the, the space in here, there are sort of large enough spaces that, like, for something like that where you just need space, right. that's, you know. And, and traffic with people around and say, hey, right. yeah. to play the game. Right. No, that's right. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, we, I mean, yeah, we definitely can. And, and I want to leave you with all this here. Okay, great. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah. I think that, like, the, you know, one of the reasons why, you know, like, the, the outdoor part of it, I think that this is where we've got to talk to facilities is like, you know, things like flames and yeah. <laughs> explosions <laughs> and things like that. Which but the bean bag works somewhere. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so on uh, your gathering information uh, for the Cleveland game developers uh -huh. and, and also for Launch House, uh, right. I think the game developers really enjoyed the space that they were in right. last year right. having like, the, the big uh, monitor yep. and that's, that's really great for showing our computer games that we make and stuff. Um, so I don't imagine that there's been any sort of thought as to where any of these, these groups that were here last year.